Today we're going to talk to you about organizing your closet. Now it doesn't matter if you have a small hallway closet, a large walk-in closet, or an armoire. There are certain steps that you take, no matter what size it is, to help you get organized. Now we're going to go ahead right now and see what kind of condition this closet is in. I'm just kidding. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh well, look at this here. Well, basically what you do, you just start off by kind of taking everything out. Yes, it's going to be a big mess, but you know what? If you set aside time in your day, we can get this done. What you're going to do is you're going to sort things. Things that don't really belong there. We're going to have to put them in a different location. Next, what we're going to do is as we're taking things out, we're going to start grouping things into categories. You know, pajamas, tops, bottoms, socks. We're just going to go ahead and group those into containers. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm. Oh, oh, things that are trash, you know. Um, oh, look, so things that need to be discarded. So we're going to get back with you in just a second, and we're going to show you the final outcome of organizing this closet. Hi, this is Lisa again. We have finished organizing this armoire closet. What we did is she has a pile of things that are discarded. There was another pile of things that will be donated. There was items that needed to be relocated into somebody else's room. And then we grouped things according to category. So would you like to see what the finished product turned out? It turned out so nice. I'm really excited. Isn't it so pretty? It's all coordinated. <laughs> Woo this is Lisa Geisler, A Time and Place for Everything. Find me at www.atimeandplace4.com. The number four. My number is 832. 277-1745. Enjoy organizing.